Hey everyone, it's Andrew Brown, and this fall along, we're gonna take a look at milestones. So what we'll do is go to our fun repo, and we'll have to create a couple of issues. I have one here called, what is the best movie ever? But then we can say, what is the best food ever? As our other ticket, and then we can figure out what that is later on. But the idea is that we want to put this into a new milestone. So what we'll do is go back to issues, and we'll create ourselves a new milestone, and we'll call this, um, live in life. I don't, I don't know what to call this, but we're going to go ahead and call that. Um, oh, that was another issue. That wasn't a milestone, <laughs> but that's fine. We could always use more milestones here and we'll create a new milestone. We'll say true living. Okay. And we could set a date in the future, any date that we want to complete this. And I'm going to go back over to my issues and I'm going to check box. Well, first I'll go into one. And we can assign the milestone this way. We can also mass assign probably this way as well if we go here. By the way, there's mass assignment for all these things for issues. Probably good to know that. And now if we go over to our milestone, we have a percentage of how complete it is. So if we go back over here, we can close a couple of these, okay? And if we go back over to our milestone, we can see that we've made some progress. It's 66% complete. I want to show you maybe Rails because I have a feeling that they probably have milestones. A lot of open source projects will have milestones to help you know when the next version's coming out. So if we go over to issues here and go to milestones, you can get an idea like when the next version is. And uh, that's a really great use case for milestones. So we can go in here and see that they only have one more ticket to get version 7.13 out. Um, then we have 8.00 and they have a bunch of other stuff. So it is quite interesting how milestones can be organized, but usually this is the use case uh, that I see. But anyway, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.